All right, so back with the G24 engine here. Um, got the head back to the machine shop for it to for them to grind the valves, but after grinding the valves, um, found out that the buckets, the clearances are a little bit too tight. So each of these has three numbers. That's um, two nine four. This is what now. It's a two nine two. There's three hundred two eighty. 8, 8, there is a measurement of um, what the shim on the inside is. Um, yeah, so there is two ways to correct that. Is so what I'm doing is taking some material off the top of the valve right there. So each one of these, as you see, doesn't have a bucket. Um, yeah, that means that I need to sit down and grind them, but like what. It's tedious, but it's the only way I see it being done. Um, I'll show the result of them actually doing that side there. But yeah, so my assumption was I could grind down here, but no machine shop would do it. And the problem I'm having is I don't have anything to do it accurately. So I'm, doing, I'm taking a chance with the valve side of it. Um, I'm taking my time and going across the top of the head of the valve, stem of the valve, and that's. Getting it down ever so slightly by thousands of an inch each time, put it back in the camera and checking it. My filler gauge. But yeah, Suzuki Vitara 2018. Um, J20, J24 engine 2.4, 324B hash with me. Yeah, so that's the situation now, but. Um, just making videos of these weird vehicles that I get on a regular basis because I realize there are not many videos out there and I think some people have these issues and they don't know how to counteract them or don't know how to um, you know go about them. In my case I, I took shims out of different another engine that was damaged, um sleeves were damaged in that engine so it wasn't gonna be fixed but so all these excess amount of shims um say three hundred 298, 294, 298, 300, you know, there's, there's different sizes. Um, so instead of troubling the shims, I'm just take, troubling the valves under the assumption that um, hopefully this engine will not, this engine is ever pulled again. Um, well, you know, the valves are grinded, and that's a problem, but they're grinded a little bit too much. That's a problem with some machine shops that just do some work, but they don't necessarily know, or they just don't necessarily care, so. I'm stuck with the end result of that, but yeah, this 2.4 should be up and running um, soon. I'm just taking my time now and getting these valve clearances right, so compression will be you know, great.